uh, Coach Riley, and I thought Nebraska played well. Uh, there was a tipping point in the game, and sometimes games can get out of hand. That one certainly did. Um, and for us to win, we were going to need to not play air free, but create some turnovers and certainly take care of the football. I thought Nebraska did an excellent job defending our running game, which made us one dimensional. And typically, when you get that one dimensional, a lot of bad things happen. So we've got some work to do there, but I don't want to take anything away from the front. Uh, I thought the uh, Nebraska guys established the line, tackled well. Uh, certainly, we were concerned about uh, the skill players uh, that they have, particularly the wide receivers. And uh, they lived up to their billing. And they made some great plays. And so, um, you know, there was time we were in the ball game, but obviously it's a 60-minute ball, ball game, and uh, we didn't get it done, and I think we got whooped today. So, questions? Craig, how do you, you know, where was the tipping point? Was it a certain interception or anything by Josh? Or what, when you're mind, where was the yeah. tipping point? You know, first of all, I think obviously Josh has been, uh, you know, a really competitive guy. And uh, we'll look at the tape. I think there was a stretch where we had three out of four series where we had interceptions, and that's tough to, to uh, start pressing the ball that much. We need to do a better job with that. Um, so when the exact tipping point was, but it was after one of those turnovers, I think it was you saw the, the point spread begin to, uh, the margin begin to really be tough. Do you worry about having to bring him back now? I mean, this again, this is only his third real full third game, and do you worry about that? I, well, you know, I think we need to, we need to recognize he's not a, uh, senior veteran player. I mean, he's a sophomore. Uh, Coach Vegan and myself, uh, you know, we'll sit down, we'll talk with him. You know, there's great work and value. Um, obviously, he's he's a competitive guy. He's not going to walk out of here and uh, feel like he did great. But there's not one guy that does anything. But I think he also can be a competitive guy and uh, get get ourselves ready to bounce back next week. Coach, there were a few penalties that looked like might have been out of frustration. What did you think about the team's composure down the stretch? Well, I don't know which one you're talking about. Uh, there's just there was one on the sideline. Yeah, I guess that's the only one I can recall. There was a lot of calls the other way, but which one? I guess I was thinking about the play with Josh where he threw the ball and at the guy. Josh threw the ball. They didn't end up calling penalty. Okay, I, didn't, there, I guess I didn't see I, that. No, I don't think we lost. It was a competitive game, though. Nebraska players played competitive. He did as well. Like you said, it's it's a 60-minute game, but for after three quarters, you're down just seven and you're in it. Right. Is that can you take anything from that, or because of the way the fourth quarter went, you can't um, really? We'll build on that, Robert. Um, you know, I thought at that time the game was fairly evenly matched. I know we had missed a couple of scoring opportunities on field goals, and uh, you know we weren't able to convert as many times on third down and makeables as what we like. And so there's some positive things, but certainly. Um, you know, our depth came into play, and you know, I, I, I want to credit Nebraska too. I thought they really responded well. Chris, do you feel like you put a little bit too much on Josh Allen's shoulders today, or was that run game where they just not giving up plays in the run game on defense? Well, you always strive to run, and Brent and I were talking consistently along with the offensive line, and you know, obviously we need to run the ball more uh, and to be effective, and, and it wasn't going to. If we had a plan coming in, but we started to adjust that plan. You know, you, you're not gonna. We're not made to be a pass-happy football team, and so we're going to need to get back to work and make sure we can get some things corrected to get some movement up front. I think we've got some pretty capable running backs, but you know, there just wasn't a lot of, uh, of area the other day. Coach, Coach Hill, the way Nebraska defense clogged up that middle there and made it tough for us. That's something that you saw last week, or were, were there some new wrinkles there, or what? They, they played really good technique. You know, I know they lost uh, Stoltenberger, but I thought their defensive line really established the line of scrimmage. Well, I'm sure they, they made improvement. Um, you know, we had shown their ability to run the ball pretty well, so I'm sure they, they worked hard on a running game, and they defended it well. Coach, how impressed were you with that play before half from Josh to get some points on the board there? Well, that's that's the positive side. I mean, and we're going we're gonna to choose to say the glass is half full to be able to make those plays and then limit some of those other plays. So, you know, it certainly changed the complexion of the game. I know our guys came in at halftime, and then obviously as we got into the uh, third quarter, they're going to the fourth quarter, it was a you know, fairly close ball game. Coach, being from Lincoln, having so much history with this team, how was it coming out of the visitor's tunnel today? Did you have a lot of family at today's game? Well, there's a lot of family here, but, you know, I've been asked that question a lot. This is about uh, the, the University of Wyoming and about our football team. And so coaches typically are – really uh, good at compartmentalizing. Um, and so, you know, you, you looked, there was a football team. Uh, Coach 
Riley and I are on the board together and stuff like that. So all these other things. We got beat by a good football team, so it really didn't have a lot to do with emotion.